Minister Spencer here with the good news. Today I'll be coming to you out of the book of Psalms, chapter 42, verses 4 and 5 in the NIV. And it reads like this. These things I remember as I pour out my soul. How I used to go to the house of God under the protection of the mighty one with shouts of joy and praise among the festive throng. Why, my soul, are you downcast? Why so disturbed within me? Put your hope in God, for I will yet praise him, my Savior and my God. This is the word of the Lord. Father, I thank you for your word, and I ask God that this word blesses someone on today. Father God, let this be you speaking, and just use me as a willing vessel today. I thank you for your word, and I thank you for the love you have for your people. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Christians, I'm going to try to tell you today how to beat the blues, the B-L-U-E-S. The blues. You can find yourself, according to the notes in my Bible, that it says the writer of this psalm was discouraged because he was exiled to a place far from Jerusalem and could not worship in the temple. During these God-given holidays, the nation was to remember all that God had done for them. And many of these festivals are explained in the chart in Leviticus. Depression is one of the most common emotional ailments. One antidote for depression is to meditate on the record of God's goodness to his people. And this will take your mind off a of present situation and give hope that will improve. It will focus your thoughts on God's ability to help you rather than your inability to help yourself. When you feel depressed, take advantage of this Psalm's antidepressant. Read the Bible's accounts of God's goodness and meditate on them. To God be the glory. All of us, my friends, can beat the blues if they be believe the positive. Philippians 4 and 8 says, whatsoever things are of good report, think on these things. Too many of us believe negatives rather than positives. They look for, listen to, and concentrate all bad things that happen. Contrarily, we should dwell on the positive, looking for the good in others and in other circumstances. Amen. L. Look for the purpose. After ye had suffered a while, establish strength and to settle you. First Peter 5, verse 10. You see, God has a purpose for all his people and in all he allows. We win over discouragement by looking for this purpose. And sometimes as Christians, we are tested to strengthen and to increase our faith. And God promises to strengthen us. You utilize the promise. That we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. Romans 15 and 4. You see, some of us lack victory because we neglect God's promises, thus forfeiting many benefits promised in God's word. God's word is loaded with promises and loaded with benefits for his people. But we must dig deep, read the word, study the word and find out what God is truly saying to us all. We must utilize God's promises by reading, remembering, and referring to them often. We can beat the blues if we encourage other people, E, that we may be able to comfort them which are in any trouble. Let me read that again. That we may be able to comfort them which are in any trouble. Second Corinthians verses one, I mean chapter one, verse four. Many people fall into discouragement because they fail to help those who are in need. They are too involved with their own pursuits. We should encourage others by reaching out to them with their problems. This often enables us to solve our own difficulties. We can beat the blues, S, by singing God's praises. Sing forth the honor of his name. Make his praise glorious, Psalm 66 and 2. Most of us fail to praise the Lord enough. Praising God brings hope. It helps lift us out of despair. How many know that when you praise him in your most desperate situation, you can find the glory and the beauty of God? The psalmist said, but I hope continually and will yet praise thee more and more. Psalm 71 and 14. My friends, these are how you beat the blues. Believe the positive. Look for the purpose. Utilize the promises. Encourage other people and sing God's praises. Hallelujah. 
I hope somebody is encouraged by this word today because no matter how you slice up the Bible, it always ends up bringing us good news. Be blessed in Jesus' name.